Alright, what's going on guys? Trev back again. I'm going to bring you into the video. This one's going to be doing my final predictions video for the final episode of Breaking Bad. That is of the series finale, Season 5, Episode 16, Felina. Okay, so for the past few weeks, I have been doing video predictions for the final episodes of Breaking Bad. Earlier on, I didn't, but the series has just been so epic this season that I felt like, man, you know, I just can't wait to do reviews, but also give predictions for what I think is going to happen next, because this show is really, really unpredictable. Uh, I mean, just last week, for example, we saw Saul take off. Didn't think that was going to happen. Um, most of the events of this season, I think, have been really nice uh, plot twists and turns, and we kind of knew it was going to come crashing down around Walt, but to what degree, you know, we really didn't have much of an idea. We probably, almost nobody thought that uh, Jack would have jacked <laughs> Walt's money, so the point where he'd have almost nothing left, like, uh, you know, what was it, 11 million or something like that? Well, I guess that's a lot, but still, compared to 80 or 90 you know, 80 to, you know, he jacked 70 million dollars from him. So also, of course, the Hank would find out, we kind of knew at the end of last season, but just a lot of different, you know, twists and turns leading down to the final conclusion. Now, for this week's episode for the finale, Felina, there really isn't any uh, new content for it that they've released um, online. They really haven't shown any um, you know tr new trailers with new content or promos or sneak peeks or anything of the sort. There is a promo out there, but all it is is sort of like a trailer for the finale based on things we've already seen. It's not new content. They haven't released uh, any new content at all, and um, you know it doesn't seem like they're going to. So it's really hard for me to do a predictions video for the finale. Uh, in particular because there's nothing there. In terms of descriptions, all they basically said is it's the finale, series finale, that's it. Felina, an anagram, just re, you know, kind of uh, flipped around finale, you know. Um, so it's, it, it's kind of hard, you know, what do we think is going to happen? What's the overall picture of Breaking Bad? Is Walt going to come to the rescue? Granite State was a pretty tragic episode where I think every character in the show that we've grown to care about is at their all-time low, lowest point. Uh, Skyler is, or close to, I would say, with the cops breathing down her throat uh, or neck and, and, you know, really trying to get something on her and take down Walt. Walt is in seclusion and uh, his health seems to be even worse than ever. Um, Jesse, you know, is, is in an absolute state of, of trauma and panic and a prisoner. Um, Hank's dead. <laughs> Walt Jr. hates his dad, wants him to die. Um, so Marie has lost her husband. You know, every character in Breaking Bad that we've grown to care about over the last few seasons is in a tragic state of just decay uh, in terms of their lives. So it'll be really exciting to see in the last 53 minutes how this all wraps up. Uh, what the overall picture of the uh, series will be in the end, you know, we're just going to have to uh, have to wait and see. But um, definitely this episode right here is the most important episode in all of Breaking Bad. Will it be as good as Ozymandias? I hope so. Uh, that episode was like, phew, oh my god, I don't know how you could beat that, but it's the absolute finale, so I expect to see lots of character deaths, I expect to see Todd go down, Jack go down, all of his men go down, and um, so I am predicting that Walt will take them all down one way or another, and I am really interested to see what happens with, with him and Jesse if he does succeed in taking down Jack, as difficult as that's going to be. When he finds Jesse, is he going to let him go? Is he going to put him down? Is he going to kill him? Or will he just, you know, say, hey, he suffered so much, whatever, uh, and just let him live? And also, if he does, will Jesse come back behind and be the one to kill Walt if it comes to that? Um, that, for me, I think would be a really fitting end if it was to turn into a, okay, Walt has defeated Jack and all of his men. Maybe he's gotten shot once, this type of thing. And he's freeing Jesse, and then Jesse turns on him, grabs a gun, and shoots him in the back or something of the sort. Um, that would be a really, really fitting end for Breaking Bad. Um, something people have predicted for a while is that maybe he'll be the one to do it since he's been so important to the series and, and that Walt has ruined his life in a lot of ways. 
Plus, if you remember in Ozymandias, uh, Walt did tell Jesse that, uh, that he, he basically um, could have saved Jane and just chose not to, simply chose not to. So revenge for that. Also, um, you know, it's kind of like from Jesse's perspective, Jack is working for Walt and Walt is the kingpin, the mastermind. Uh, even though he doesn't see him, I'm sure in the back of Jesse's mind he still thinks that this is all from Walt. So if that happens, it would be completely logical for Jesse to turn against Walt and take a shot at him in the back if he gets the chance. Uh, if Walt doesn't put him down or, you know, whatever the case may be. So we'll see what happens with that. That's kind of what I'm thinking is going to happen in the end. Or another really interesting thing, there's a couple other possibilities. Another would be that uh, Walt could simply win. And just due to the drama of the whole battle and everything that ensues, the shooting and everything and killing off all of Jack's men and everybody, he just drops dead. Uh, or maybe gets arrested or maybe Jack beats him. You know, maybe Jack uh, is the one to do it and one of his men end up shooting him down and they end up killing him. I guess, I guess we'll see. So there's lots of different ways it could go. My favorite for a prediction would be that Jesse is the one to do it after Walt is victorious. Um, the cancer coming back and just after him winning, him just dying from the cancer, that would also be very fitting as well. And the others, Jack winning, wouldn't really seem very satisfying that he would be the one to dethrone Heisenberg and to beat Heisenberg. Um, so I, I don't really care for that ending very much. So my predictions would be either Jesse does it or the cancer does it after he is victorious. I, I tend to think that Walt will be victorious after all of this. I don't think he's met his match. If he defeated Gus Fring, even though thing, you know the odds are against him still with the cops against him now and, and him having really limited resources because he's on his own, he has nobody, he can't turn to anyone, uh, in terms of people, he has no resources. I still tend to think he's going to get them. Um, and uh, after, it'll be Jesse or the cancer that gets him. So that's my predictions for the finale, the, the wrapping up of what will happen with that. I think Jesse's going to survive. He's been through a lot. I don't think they're going to kill him off. I think he will make it. He'll be one of those characters that does live on, I think, past this series. Saul, of course, is gone. Skylar, I think, will be okay. Uh, I don't know if she'll get off scot-free or not. I hope she does. Marie also scot free. She, she should be okay. Um, Todd's got to die. Lydia, I think, will be okay. I think she'll get off scot free. And um, let's see, is there anybody else that I forgot about? Uh, Walt Jr. should be fine. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. So I think that the big hurrah will be a huge action filled episode with lots of excitement, 53 minutes, lots of things happening. Walt somehow has got to find a way to get his family the money before he attacks Jack. It'll be interesting to see how he. Uh, MacGyver's that and maneuvers that and gets that, you know, going to them and finds a way to get them all the money before he goes on this suicide mission to take Jack down. So I'm thinking we're going to see the best episode of a TV series ever, and I think it will top Ozymandias, and I think in the end there's no other uh, way around it. We started the series knowing that Walt had a time clock and that it was just tick-tocking down to, to the end for him. And I think we're going to see it. It'll be interesting if we see anything with those people uh, who founded Grey Matter with Walt. If we see him do anything with them, or if he just leaves them alone, doesn't have anything to do with them, or what the case may be. So I guess my predictions, Jack's got to die, all his men have to die, Todd has to die, I think Jesse's going to survive, I believe Walt will die, and everybody else should pretty much be okay. It'll be interesting to see too where Saul's at. I'd like to see a little clip, if they can get it in there, of uh, you know, because it will be a dense 53 minutes of of where uh, Saul is at. So anyway, um, I think that's pretty much all I gotta say, man. What an epic series. Uh, I'm hoping for uh, the best episode ever, and I think we're gonna see it. I mean, if Ozymandias is any indication, I, I think this one will even surpass that. I, I think it kinda has to, and it'll be really exciting to see how, by himself, Walt takes the battle to, to those guys and really causes some mayhem and takes them down. I think it's going to be like a war zone, or maybe he'll use his, uh, his uh, car bomb type skills, his, his bomb skills, and uh, man, it's going, to be, it's going to be really exciting, I think. Um, what a great series, man. One of the best series of all time, I think, in terms of television series. Uh, I believe it just won the Emmy for uh, Best Drama. So, I mean, it, of course it should. Uh, I don't think anything this season, I don't think anything can compete with, with this season of Breaking Bad. This is like the ending that we all dreamed of. You know, a lot of times with shows, things get hyped up so much, but then when it actually comes time to see it, it doesn't It doesn't deliver. Breaking Bad is the opposite. It, there was a lot of hype. 
you know, a lot of us were thinking, can it live up to it? And I think it has even surpassed the hype and how good it is. And uh, after the finale, I mean, we can all talk about it, but I think it'll go down as, uh, as one of the best drama series of all time. Uh, maybe the best. So whether or not it's, you know, everybody's favorite. Uh, overall, I think you have to appreciate the writing, the acting, the cast, um, the, the story, and also that they didn't let it go on for too long. You know, they, they set it here. They said, okay, we've told the story we want to tell for the most part. Now let's end it at the end of season five. We don't want this to be going on for ten seasons when there isn't... This story doesn't have ten seasons. So we'll keep it at five and uh, finish it off. So <laughs> Anyway, um, let me hear what you guys think about the finale. Please put your predictions uh, in the comments below. And uh, let's talk about it. How is it all going to wrap up? Who's going to die? Who's going to survive? What do you guys think? Let's talk about it. I'll call it here. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. This is Trev, and I'm saying peace.